A beautiful Thursday, but a stormy Friday on the way. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. I'm becoming increasingly concerned that we do at least have the potential for severe weather as we go into Friday afternoon. 1 to 5 p.m., that's the timing. We're at a level 2 of 5 risk for severe weather in most of New Jersey, according to the Storm Prediction Center. I do believe that small hail and damaging winds are in the realm of possibility with this. So you want to make sure you're cutting down any hanging loose tree branches and have your devices charged as you go into Friday afternoon. But like I said at the top, it was a beautiful Thursday. I mean, temperatures from Atlantic City to Hamilton, all at 80 degrees. And that's because of a westerly wind that said goodbye to that sea breeze for today. So an extremely comfortable day for us out here. But we did have the return of some wildfire smoke. We look at our visible satellite for today. The visibility wasn't that bad, but you can see a little bit of that haze that's drifting eastward and has drifted eastward with time today. We take a look at our future cast here. We go into Thursday night. It's a clear sky, but with that wildfire smoke, not much in the way of cloud cover. That changes on Friday morning. We'll have a partly to mostly cloudy sky. Potential for a rain shower or thunderstorm starts during the end of the morning commute, but it's going to be between one to five that Look at this, a line of thunderstorms that will try to make itself together and push eastward here. We see at 1 o'clock, it's out towards the turnpike. 2 o'clock, it's getting into the Pine Barrens. And by 3 o'clock, it's already rolling offshore. Now, I wouldn't tie yourself down to that exact timing. But again, from 1 to 5, the potential for an hour's worth of rain over you and severe weather will be there. Then as we go into the evening, a couple more showers and storms will be floating around. None of this is severe. I think most of your Friday night is going to be dry. So for tonight, we're talking about low temperatures. 60 to 65 degrees everywhere, haze in the sky, otherwise mainly clear otherwise. We go into Friday, not a washout. If you have outdoor plans, before 10 o'clock is good. Even after 5 o'clock, most of the time will be good. I know there's graduations going on during the afternoon. My advice is you're probably going to want to move them, at least move them inside here or move them to another day, just because we got this lightning threat and that severe weather threat out there, even though it's not a washout. Then we go into Friday night, winds coming out of the northwest, could see a shower or thunderstorm in most places as you go into the night. Here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast. Smoke for the weekend. Otherwise, it's fairly pleasant. But if you have those asthma issues or respiratory issues, you want to stay inside with the HEPA filter to clean out that air. Juneteenth is Monday. We're talking about a thunderstorm or two possible. Then as we go into next week, it's getting a little clearer to me that Tuesday and Wednesday look to be dry. But there will be tidal flooding possible at the shore Thursday is when we would see some wet weather. If you go to our website, pressofac.com weather, I will be tracking this severe weather threat all day on Friday.